Good morning. This is Dr. Rosie Kuhn, and this podcast series is called Aging Like a Guru. Who, me? Yesterday, I was uh, having a session with my client, Bob, and uh, Bob, uh, many years ago, was alcoholic and was not available to his children and his family, and he ended up divorcing, and his children haven't spoken with him for about 11 years. He's been sober and recovering and doing a lot of personal work for the past five years, and yet his children don't want anything to do with him. And as you can imagine, that's really, really hurtful, especially because his son just got married and he, Bob, was not invited to the wedding. So he's got a lot of feelings he's dealing with and he's, he's doing the program and working through all those issues. And he says to me, I, I want to write a letter to them. And I go, okay, great. What's, what's the intention of the letter? And he's like, well, I, I want to let them know that I've made these changes in my life and that hopefully they'll want to uh, re- reconnect with me. And I said, well, what if they don't? <laughs> and I don't know why I'm laughing at that, but it's like, well, what if they don't want to want to reconnect with you, even though you've written this letter and explained everything? And he goes, well, I'll feel really, really sad. I go, okay, great. So so one of the intentions of the letter, I'm talking to Bob, saying what it, the one of them is that you're hoping that they will reconnect with you. What's the other reason for writing such a letter explaining who you are now and, and what's different about you? And he, there was a long pause, and, and I said, my sense is, is what you want to leave your children with is a legacy of truth, a legacy of courage, and the legacy of, of love. And that in writing this letter and letting them know of your change, that that's what you're giving them. And you can, in a sense, what I'm hearing is that you're potentially able to let go that they should love you or you ho- your hope that they'll love you. And the legacy is that you're showing them who you truly are in your heart. And um, there was a long pause and he kind of liked that. And I could see a shift in him from a, a, a human being that wants something that he thinks he should have in terms of you have a child, you want that connection. Uh, and yet at the same time, he was got very clear with his heart's desire to leave them with a sense of who he truly is. So that brings me to our conversation today about legacies. Um, legacy is a very large conversation for people who are aging. Uh, and that can start in the 40s or whatever when, our, when we start to say, what if we have children, you know, what will I leave my children you know, what's the inheritance that I will leave? Or what's the purpose of my life on earth? What will I leave the world with in terms of my contribution to a better world? So I would say 90% of the people I know are doing what they're doing in the world to leave some sort of legacy, some, some, something that makes the world a better place. This has been a conversation for me for a long time in terms of what I want to leave my children with. And for me, it's like I want to leave them with um, an environment in nature where they can come and really reconnect or connect with nature. Uh, that's part of my uh, foundation of my um, sense of serenity and stillness and connection is with, with Mother Earth. And so I live uh, on a, a private road in the backwoods on, on an island in the Pacific Northwest. And I want to give that to them. And But the truth is, is that might not be really important to them. That's not necessarily what's valuable to them. And I thought about the legacy of, you know, what did my parents leave me? And they did, they did leave me some money. And so that allowed me to afford a piece of property and my home here for a little bit. And, um, but the, the greater legacy for me was um, they left, who did they leave me with in terms of a perception of who they are? So my dad in many ways was, was brilliant and funny and uh, loved people. And at the same time, he didn't, necessarily treat his children really well. And my mom, she was generous in many ways and contributed to the community, but there was something that she wasn't able to give us as children. And that what I was lacking in a sense was the reflection of love and respect and that they would be proud of me or that they they saw me as someone 
important, important in terms of they saw me as someone valuable in their life. And I never got that reflection, maybe rarely, but I, I'm left with, I'm less than, I'm less left with a feeling insignificant in my life and the intention of trying to continually make myself significant. Um, that's up to, the, to a larger degree has stopped, but that's the legacy they left me with. And when I think about what legacy I want to leave my children with, I want to leave them with a, uh, the legacy of kindness in a sense. When they remember who I am, when they remember who I am in their life, and the same with my grandson, it's like, who am I in this person's life? And my grandson and I, this was three years ago, so he was five years old, if you can imagine. He's just five years old, and he and I are in the car driving. Um, and I, we were, you know, I, I'm kind of this person who talks spiritual stuff and blah, blah, and just life stuff. And I said, you must really love, you know, love all these people in your life. You've got lots of grandparents. And, uh, and I'm one of them. And he goes, Granny, I, I don't love you. I like you. You're kind. Uh, this was a, a five-year-old child who said this. Granny, I don't love you. I like you. You're kind. And I thought, wow, that's the legacy I want to leave people and, and especially my children, is that they, re, they know the kindness that I shared with them. They don't say, oh, she's kind to other people, but they know the experience of kindness. They know the experience of a generosity of, of spirit. They know the generosity of love, truly. Now, all I can do is decide that's what I want the legacy to be, if you will, and then do whatever I can to ensure that and be mindful about what, how I practice that in, in my life, not only with them, but I practice that with my clients. I practice that with people at the grocery store, my friends. That's my practice is what's the quality of generosity of spirit that I want to leave? Because I think that's what changes the world, not my productivity, not my books, not my ability to, to, to coach well. It's, it's the, the heart the generosity of spirit, I think that that's the legacy that will will inevitably change the world, not just mine, but everybody. So when I think about, um, you know, and I've my children don't necessarily appreciate the choices that I've made in life, and they're not necessarily going to um, receive my legacy in a sense that they're not going to remember much like with my parents. My parents gave me a, a, you know, so much of an appreciation for nature. That is one of the legacies that they left me. Um, they did leave me the legacy of humor and, and beauty and, um, and respecting all people. So there's these elements of life that uh, are part of the legacy that they left me with. And I, I think we each of us has a choice in how we want to choose to leave or what legacy we will leave for others. And so regardless of your age, uh, where you are in the aging process, um, there's a part of you that's already having that conversation with yourself about what's the, what's, what is it that I want to leave others with about myself? And we all have the ability. I'm so here's my priority is I'm thinking kindness is like really important to leave people with with the experience of kindness. That's just my perspective. You might have other things you want to leave people with, like you know I'm a a, a tyrant and I want to let people know that I was a tyrant to the very end, and so that's what I'm going to be. Um, and that's what I'll be to the very end. So you can choose the legacy that you leave behind. And then every day you're actually walking your talk. Every day you're living into that legacy of what you're leaving behind for, for other people and making the world a better place in the way that you see. You're making the, the, the world a better place. A lot of people think that that tyrancy is somehow making the world a better place. And, and so I respect that in you and want you to live into that fully and your heart's desire to be that tyrant. And if your desire is to be more kind and live in peace, I really encourage you to really own that and, and leave that as a legacy. And in that process, then you get to experience yourself in that in that place of kindness and in the, in the state of peace. So many people say, I want to leave the world a more peaceful place. And I'll say, how much time are you actually 
experiencing peace in your own life, and it will be very minimal, generally speaking. And so we work on bringing more peace to their life so that they can actually generate more peace in the world. So that's pretty much it for now. I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you listening and and just being more at choice and about how you're thinking about who you are in this process of of becoming a guru, aging guru. All right, big hugs, blessings, and bye for now. Mm-hmm.